Welcome to Roman to Yoga. If we're just meeting, I'm Casey, and I'm so glad you're practicing with me today. Make your way over to your yoga mat. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Stretch your legs long, lift your arms up and overhead, and take a full body stretch. On your next breath, draw your hands to heart center and name one thing that makes you cheerful. It can be a word or phrase, whatever first comes to your mind. Remember, this is your yoga practice, so you get to pick. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. On your next breath, place a bend in your knees, sit up, and if you're using blocks today, grab them at this time, but no, you don't need the blocks. Take the first block and line it up with your bra on the medium setting and the second block set it on its highest setting to relax your head. It may take a couple of moments for you to set up for this yoga posture that's completely normal. Once you're set up, firmly press all four corners of the feet into one another. Lower the knees towards the ground and place your arms in the T position. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. If you're newer to yin yoga, my voice will go away. This allows you to draw your awareness inward, but I'll come back to you and guide you out of the posture and lead you into the next one.
Place your hands on your thighs and slowly draw your knees towards one another. Go very slow. And once they meet, firmly press your hands into the floor and sit up. The blocks may fall. Step your feet mat width distance. And lower your knees to the right. And take your gaze to the left. And lower your knees to the left and take your gaze to the right. Bring a little bit of space and movement into your hips after holding for such a long time. Yin yoga allows you to get into the fascia, which is the deep connective tissue. Come to a seated position, extend your legs long, flex your feet, grab a pillow if you're using one today. Place a bend in your elbows and hip hinge forward. Now, if you're not very flexible like me, you're gonna not be able to hip hinge very far forward without intensely rounding your back. I wanna see your spine long today. I challenge yourself to not just crunch forward, but to hip hinge forward. Hip hinge forward, draw your low belly in and up. Clasp your hands together. Let your forehead rest on your hands. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Breathe through this posture. Bring your mind back to the present moment. Remove your props and slowly sit up tall. Move your props out of the way if you're using them. Place your pillow at the top of your mat. Set your yoga blocks at the side. Come to hands and knees. Your hip should be, your knees should be hip width distance apart. Extend your right leg long and thread it through the left. See if you can bring your shin parallel today. It's okay if you've got a lot of space. It's completely normal. Curl your left toes under. Set your right hip onto your blocks. Or maybe you're completely on the floor today. That's okay. Bend and straighten your elbows a couple of times. Now, if you want a little bit more, you can rest down onto the pillow, forehead down to the pillow or you can stay with me, 
place the bend in your elbows and rest your forehead into your hands because you can see that my upper back is rounded. Maybe you have a long lengthened out spine, but most people don't. Um, it's so easy just to crunch forward and try to push your body into positions that you may not quite be there yet. I invite you to just bring the floor a little bit closer to you and meet yourself exactly where you're at because you are exactly where you need to be today. And I hope that that makes you cheerful and you focus on that. The fact that you just made it to your mat. Sometimes the hardest part is just rolling out your mat and getting there. So you did that. Commend yourself. Come back to the words of your intention that you set at the beginning of today's practice. Firmly press your hands into the floor beneath you. Step your right foot back. Return to hands and knees. Draw your low belly in and up. Lift it towards the spine, round. Exhale, soften the belly, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Do this movement a couple of times at your own breath's pace. Notice that your feet don't creep in towards one another. Move your blocks to the opposite side. Return to hands and knees. Extend your left leg long and then thread it through. Notice that your shin is parallel if applicable to you. Take your blocks to support your hip. Extend your right leg long and meet me in this supported pigeon pose. Start up on your hands, bend and straighten your elbows a couple of times. And then once you're ready, place a bend in your elbows and support your, your forehead either on your pillow, in your hands, or on the floor beneath you, wherever you are at today. Breathe deeply. Know that you're here for a few minutes. It's completely normal for you to feel some sensation here. Remember, sensation is good. Pain isn't. Your body will tell you what you need to do. So listen to it.
as your body calls you out of this posture. Push your hands into the floor. Extend the left leg back and take a moment. Remove your yoga blocks out of the way. Go slow. Draw your navel point in and up around the spine. Exhale, soften the lower body. Breathe in, inhale, round the spine. Exhale, soften the low belly, squeeze the shoulder blades. Go slow, one breath with one movement. Press the big toes together. Separate your knees to the wide edge of the mat. Grab your pillow and place it vertically. Extend your arms forward and rest your forehead down into the pillow. Breathe deeply. Press your hands into your yoga mat and on your next breath, release the posture, move the pillow out of the way. Actually move the pillow to, towards your right hand side. Make your way onto your belly, place a bend in your elbows, and then draw your right knee up towards your, le your right elbow. Now you can either rest your hands onto your forehead or place the arms in the goalpost position and take your gaze towards your right. 
Notice that your right elbow is in line with your right shoulder. If it ever begins to creep away, just gently guide it back to alignment. Unless, of course, it's painful to put yourself in alignment. You know your body better than I know it. So listen to you. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. As your body calls you out of this side, remove the pillow and place it on the opposite side. Drag your left knee up towards your left elbow. Once again, notice that your elbow is in line with your shoulder and that your gaze is in the left direction. Close your eyes, soften the muscles in your face Notice that you create space between the top and bottom rows of teeth and focus your attention on right here and right now because all you have is right now. Everything will be waiting for you after your yoga practice. As your body calls you out of this posture, come to a cross-legged position, draw your hands to heart center, and always, always commend yourself for making time for you. I hope you feel just a little bit more cheerful after today's yoga practice. Consider subscribing if you want to keep stretching with me. Thanks, and have an awesome day.